Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Carisha getting up there on her podcast, lying and deflecting. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments, and please turn on your notifications. Okay, you guys, I refuse to watch this bullshit. Yeah, I said it. I refuse to watch it because I'm putting no money in Carisha pockets. Carisha did this because this is a money grab. She knows she don't gotta tell the truth she don't gotta lie she don't matter what she say y'all gonna tune in because what's going on in her personal life is so chaotic and controversial that it's going to get people to watch just because they want to know what she has to say and it's going to get people talking so she's in a good position to where she's going to make money no matter what she says and the content is doing exactly what it was meant to do. Cause controversy, get people talking, get press, get her trending, and again, make her money. Now, she's still laying down with Diddy. Don't ever believe that black ass lie about, oh yeah, like I had to just cut him loose. I can't be involved. Girl, we caught you still involved with Diddy. We caught you with, what, like a little private account or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Still rocking with Diddy. You you sat up here and you, again, you straight up lied. You doing the most, talking about some, oh, I never had this experience with him. And, you know, he poured into me and girl he saw something in me he saw a thirsty bitch who would do anything for a check you was proudly talking about how you was getting pissed on you was proudly sharing him with half of the motherfucking la area you sharing him with men and women you was happily doing freak offs according to the court documents you had your cousin up in the mix you had family getting in the middle of this you was all too happy to be going back and forth with gina and again, you can't take back them tweets that you sent about Gina being an eater and all that other weird, freaky shit that you be on, that y'all be on. Every chick been complicit in this bullshit from day one. That's what I've been saying. Everybody from Kim Porter, everybody from Cassie, everybody from Gina, everybody from Lori Harvey, everybody from you, Joy Chavez, and the list goes on and on and on. Who the other dude? Um, YK Osiris, who was getting flued out? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a bunch of dudes and chicks who was happily making it clap for Diddy, for a bag. Daphne, Joy, you too. And, and again, none of y'all want to talk about the transportation of the pink cocaine. Nobody want to talk about the real shit. Like, you was happily doing anything and everything. You was drug and sex trafficking with this dude. Anything for a check. And the gag is, I think... Carisha, you was doing something with your daughter because that birthday shoot a few years ago with you and Summer and you had her looking all sexualized and weird. Carisha, please, like, Diddy is known for, you know what I'm saying, like, having some weird shit going on. So it's given that y'all all was selling a bunch of sh a bunch of shit you were selling your own ass, you were selling a little bit of drugs, and you may have been selling young people. And let me talk about the other one, Dana too, the, the one who got the baby with him, knew the new baby. She was complicit in all the bullshit too. Everybody been complicit for a check. So you're not innocent. And again, you get your ass up here and you want to deflect and talk about JT. JT was a name to none of that, none of them lawsuits, none of that stuff. But again, this was nothing but a money grab and an attention seeking ploy because when you sell your soul in the Hollywood chitlin circuit, you don't get to just fall back into obscurity. Satan's got to work you because you sold your soul. So you have to always get your ass up and make it clap, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for his agenda. And that's exactly what this is because we haven't been checking for you. Like, ain't nobody been asking about where you at. Ain't nobody been asking you for no new music. Ain't nobody been asking you for no new car games. Ain't nobody been asking you for no new episodes. We forgot about you. We not thinking about you. We wrote your ass off as a throwaway when the Diddy shit came out because everybody with a brain knows you was complicit in other women getting touched on and beat on. You was okay with your own self getting pissed on beat on touched on you was cool with it all for a check you can't make me believe that he never shoved you pinched you nothing you can't make me believe that and again that's why i know that your black ass is lying 
because abusers treat everybody the same. He put his hands on Kim. He put his hands on Cassie. And you want us to believe that you special. That's a damn lie. And anybody that believed you, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want me to believe that he pissed on you, but that he didn't hit you. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Like, and anybody that believed Carisha, you as stupid as her. So, Carisha, I'm not here for you. Like, this whole podcast was a money grab. And I hope that you take your money and that you don't spend it all in one place. Because you look like a damn fool. And as far as Santana, again, you know what you was doing by having Santana unemployed ass get up here and interview you. He's not going to hold your ass accountable. Because I've always believed that Santana was involved in the Diddy shit too. As close as y'all are in knowing that Diddy like men. You, you and Chantana probably was all, you know what I'm saying, in the same bed Sharon Diddy. All y'all down to do anything. Y'all will do anything for a check. That's what y'all have shown in this entire thing. But you also shown that you jealous of JT. And that you mad, which I don't understand why, because you've been showing that, again, you don't give a fuck about rapping, you can't rap, you really don't want to do music, you just want to be famous, and you just want to have a sugar daddy. Well, you got that. And you was online showing off Chanel trips and, and boat trips and vacations, and you was, you was all too happy to be online flexing and stunting on us. Whole time you getting ran through and pissed on and beat on behind the scenes and drugged up and doing high-level crime behind the scenes the entire time but you was all too happy like like all the like all the uh instagram thoughts do they will sit up there and flex with all of these bags and vacations and shit meanwhile they getting shitted on by my fucking sheiks in dubai but we don't see that part though but one but when you when you take a shower and wipe the shit off your face you're all too happy to come to us and try to shit on us with the bags that you got shit on for And that's why I'm not playing with Carisha. So you trying to make this all about JT. JT was really trying to do the music thing. She just made the mistake of taking your slow ass along. But JT been trying to do the music thing. And again, you haven't been focused on music. You sat up there immediately when y'all got any kind of a fucking deal and got pregnant. And then wanted to run around with Southside and all that other bullshit. You are a pick me. You just want to be laid up under a man ass cheek. You're not really trying to get it on your own. So you want to be mad at JT because JT got a feature with Nicki and all this other shit. But you released Rap Freaks first. You've been taking features without JT. So please don't let Carisha um, change the narrative and try to rewrite history. And you want to be the main person talking about some, I held her down. And, you know, black people have a really funny definition of loyalty. You held her down because you contractually had to. Y'all had already signed a deal. You had no other choice but to hold JT down while she was in jail. Like, come on now. If you was really working and really serious, you wouldn't have been skipping out on studio sessions. They had been talking about that in prior documentaries with you not wanting to go to the studio. Again, you playing in the studio and all this other bullshit. And again, popping up pregnant and doing all type of dummy shit. And if Diddy would have allowed your stupid ass to get pregnant, you'd be laid up with some more kids because you don't really want to do shit. Except ho. Because that's all that you can do. And that's the real gag. Like, the real gag, Carisha, is you can't do anything but what you were doing with Diddy. That was your best lick. And that's exactly why you haven't given it up. So you want us to believe, again, for optics, and because you want us to stop riding your ass, you want us to believe that, oh, you just cut Diddy off and, you know, you, you won't fuck with him no more. That's a lie. The industry not paying you like that. And that's the main reason why you was all too happy to go hard because for him. Because the, I, we, we, we've been talking about this on, this, uh, on my channel. Y'all don't really make no money off of music and y'all don't be booked. Y'all were never like extremely mainstream. Y'all most successful song is the feature that y'all did on In My Feelings for Drake. Y'all don't have like... Any like top notch successful hit music. Y'all had act up. Y'all had 
I can't even think of anything else besides that. You know what I mean? Like, y'all have had, like, some moderate success, but y'all have definitely not taken it to, like, a main stage. Y'all not selling out anywhere but the local hood clubs. And, like, again, people been saying that she was holding JT back. And again, you was trying to go solo first, so it's crazy how you want to try to switch the narrative about how JC was recording behind your back. Girl, cut it out. And, you know, again, they got people online who just showing the kind of people that they are, thinking that Young Miami is the most, like, loyal, good friend in the world. Well, that's a lie. You've been coming for JT. You've been leaving JT out there to dry. People have talked about this multiple times, about how you move real funky and real snaky. And like people are saying, you and Santana sat up there last year and was telling JT how she could do all these amazing things. But now that she went and going and went, and went to go do it, now you mad. Well, so y'all gaslit her. Like, I'm really not here for it. And again, you need to stop using JT name for motherfucking press and clicks. That's what's really going on. Talk about show shit. Because while you want to sit up there and try to drag JT name through the mud, and of course, you just got to mention Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is on the level of Beyonce now because her name will come up in conversations where it doesn't even apply. How the fuck did you manage to make an interview about you, about JT and Nicki? That's how now your stupid ass is deflecting because it's just like, where is this coming from? Like, you sitting up here talking about... You know what I'm saying? Like, them two, no, talk about you. Talk about how you was moving that weight for Diddy for a check. Talk about the freak offs. Talk about how you had your cousin involved. Talk about how you was messing with chicks for a check. Like, we have been catching you. You have been out here. You was kissing on Megan Thee Stallion. You are the perfect type of chick for the industry because you don't have any self-esteem. You don't have any talent. And you don't have any damn boundaries. So you want to sit up here and again just spew complete bullshit for a check? And Carisha, it worked. Like, people watching it, they getting online, they talking about it. I'm talking about it because I'm like, I, like, what is this? Like, I would have rather you just, like, I would have rather you just kept other people out of it. Like, I thought she was going to talk about you. But you don't want to be held accountable for anything with them fake-ass tears. Talking about, again, you want to make, a, make it a conversation about, again, how J- JT was doing this and that to you. And, again, about, of course, how, about Nicki Minaj. When you was all too happy to talk shit about Nicki Minaj. You've been, you've been doing real disloyal, backstabbing, shady, two-faced shit to JT. We've been watching you do that for the longest. But, of course, again, when it's your time to sit in the hot seat, all you want to do is protect the main person who got you in the hot seat. You want to protect Diddy. They got a video of Diddy viciously beating the shit out of Cassie. And you sit your stupid ass up here and you defend him. And and you want us to believe, again, he never did anything to you. You talking about, oh, he never, I don't have that experience to him. He poured into me. He pissed on you. Girl, what? But you got energy and smoke for Nikki and JT. You make no sense. And that's how I know that, again, you still riding with Diddy. And you still riding on Diddy. Because, like, girl, please. And and anybody who think that, again, that she still got this show without Diddy being involved, use a clown too. So, you still protecting Diddy. You gonna ride for Diddy until them checks stop coming in. You loyal to the bag. And that's why people like you can't be trusted. Because your loyalty lies wherever the money lie. You don't know the first thing about being loyal, Carisha. You don't know the first thing about being a good person, a good friend, because you're not a good person, period. You go wherever the bag go. So Diddy could damn knock your head off your shoulders. If he keep paying you, you're going to continue to deflect and lie and cover for him. And that's why I'm not seeing it for you. So let's talk in the comments, y'all, what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.